Hey, everybody. Uh, so recently I was having a conversation with somebody, and they mentioned uh, this tool that you see here called ViewSync. And uh, essentially all it does is it syncs your views to one another. So when you're panning from one, um, or panning and zooming in one, it'll do it in the other. And that goes for plans and 3D views. Uh, so the first thing I thought, because recently I was in a clash uh, or a pretty heavy clash. Um, it was a it, it was a very fast paced project that we were doing clash detection on, and we were doing some lessons learned. And a lot of the issues we ran into was that the the modelers, uh, engineers, architects uh, were in the model more or less dra uh, drafting. Um, they were just in uh, a two D plan. They were modeling, you know, the ductwork uh, and, and causing a lot of uh, miscellaneous or obvious clashes that could have been avoided by just simply opening up a 3D view. So I thought, okay, well, this tool would be really great because what they could do uh, is open up that 3D view and then open up a uh, plan view and then when they model stuff and they're zooming and panning around, it'll do the same thing in those 3D views. They can quickly see that if they model duct, that if it's, you know, going uh, along a wall, right on top of a wall, or if it's, you know, colliding into another element, they can see that. Uh, so I was hoping for, to, you know, if we can have a tool like that, that can make that process a little bit more streamlined, a little bit more easier for the users, then they'll they'll be more uh, pro for getting into uh, actual 3D views. I think it's really useful when you're modeling to understand the 3D space and, uh, and, and make sure to coordinate with the other disciplines. And that you know ultimately will reduce the amount of clashes that you get. So, so I, when I was told this, I immediately went out here and checked it out, thought it was really cool, so I downloaded it, used it, and then realized that it's only for 2019 and before there's no 2020 version there hasn't been an update since 2018 hopefully there will be for 2020 but i'm not betting on it uh, if you currently have some projects which you know in my case i do have some 2019 ones if you do have some you think it's a useful tool uh, i definitely recommend downloading it but if you don't um uh, i'd like to hear if you have other you know if you know of other options out there um, and, and if I find something, I'll, I'll do another video and share it. But currently, this tool is only for 2019 and uh, the previous versions of Revit. So I have it. I have Revit open now. So I'm, what I'm going to do is minimize this. And what you, if you do want this tool, just go out to the Autodesk App Store, uh, search for ViewSync, and then you'll find it. It's by Edge Global Technology Solutions. So what we'll do is minimize that and. Uh, currently, uh, what you see here is the uh, Revit Mechanical uh, or the MEP Advanced Sample Model. Uh, you can get this out on the Autodesk site, or you know it should download when you install Revit. I have a 3D view open, then I have a plan view, and then I also have another 3D view open. So uh, currently, what we're going to do is work uh, in this 3D view and just look at a few elements, and then we'll switch over. Uh, to this th other 3D view. So currently it's on sync, but uh, all you have to do is install it. This is the tab that you get. Uh, if I do this, you, it'll say, you know, that uh, uh, down here it'll switch to sync views. So currently it's not synced. Now if I expand that, we'll get the view sync settings. Um, so I'll expand it, click on it, and you have a couple options. So sync 3D views, sync 3D views with plan views. So we have both options checked. Do not sync 3D views on sheets. That's unchecked. So uh, for the most part, I think that's okay the way that it's set up. Uh, if you do have performance issues, there is a faster view sync. Uh, so currently it's set to here, so it'll it'll uh, quickly um, you know if you if you pan and zoom in one view, it'll quickly do that in the other one as well. And the further this goes up um, in the faster view sync direction the faster those will happen. Now, if you have performance issues, it's better to reduce this down. So you can see here, better, better model performance. 
Now, if you do that, it's going to be slower to sync. Um, so let's uh, go ahead and we'll press OK to this. So now uh, I'm in this view. Uh, so you can see I have a 3D view open. I have a plan view open. And so now what I'm going to do is come up here to this uh, to the edge tab and then uh, click on this sync. So now everything should be synced. Now sometimes I notice that it may take a second for it to like actually sync up these views. So um, you may have to like switch between them. But as you see now, they should be synced up. Now if I zoom around, you can see that if I select on this element, I can then see it over here in this 3D view. If I go down here, select on this um, diffuser, I'll see it. Uh, it's behind that air handling unit. So if I just rotate it a little bit, we should be able to see it. So there it is right there. Um, so depending on like, this is plan in 3D, but you know, regardless on what, <coughs> so if I like totally turn this around, you know, regardless on what uh, side you're on, it'll still sync up. So if we come in here, we can zoom in and then find that uh, diffuser again. You can see over here in 3D. And what's nice is, you know, for a user that may be resolving clashes, they can quickly see, okay, here's a diffuser I just placed and plan. And you know what's nice in 2019 is you can drag those those this view off to another screen, uh, which will make it easier when you're working like this. So we've select on the air terminal and I mean that diffuser, and now if we um, kind of rotate in 3D, we can see, okay, it, you know, currently it looks okay where it's sitting. We can quickly coordinate it and uh, um, hopefully reduce a lot of those miscellaneous items that we may pick up in Clash, but also, you know, ultimately giving over a more coordinated model. Uh, so that's 3D for you. Um, now what I can do is jump over to another 3D view, and then these two can be um, synced up to one another. Now, I'm going to, real quick, I'm going to uncheck everything there, and then I'm going to turn the section box off. All right, so um, so I turned off the section section box for this uh, for this for these elements here or for this uh, 3D view, and so now I'll just turn off the crop box. Um, the crop box as well. So with this view activated, I'll come over here, turn the crop off. And then now you can see we have these two views open, and uh, you can see that if I pan in one of them, it'll actually rotate and pan in the other one as well. So if I want to uh, come in here, s select on one of these air handling units, I can quickly um, rotate around it. So uh, you can see kind of what's going on. So if we rotate it, it's updating in the other view. Uh, and that, you know, I can kind of just pan around and select on different elements. And you may want to have like one view open with uh, just your discipline. It, it's really up to you on the way that you want to coordinate uh, your efforts, but you may have one view open with the, the uh, uh, mechanical system, another view with everything else going on in it, um, just so that you're coordinated and you understand if uh, that th those elements actually work in that space. Um, but it's a really neat tool. I think there's a lot of benefits with it. Uh, there may be things out there that do this. Uh, I'd love to hear if there is. You know, feel free to share them or comment. 
or reach out directly. But hopefully this helps, and hopefully um, if you do use this, you get some, some good benefit out of it. Uh, but thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.